hello and welcome back to my channel so today is one of your days when you check on your worms and so you decide to do so and, uh, and upon opening your worm bin you find worms all over the bin they're on the sides of the bin they're on the lid of the bin and not just a few worms which would be okay but a lot of your worms are trying to escape and you try to figure why are these worms trying to escape from the bin now i'm going to be sharing with you five reasons why worms try to escape from your bin and we're going to be looking at how we can prevent the worms from leaving if you stay tuned towards the end of the channel i will be giving you some additional tips as well so don't go anywhere if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you would like to see more informative videos like these if you have any suggestions that you would like to make on what you would like to see what topic you'd like to see me cover feel free to do so by leaving a comment in the section below okay so now let's get into the five reasons why worms try to leave your worm bin and the first one is the temperature in your bin worms like temperatures between 12 and 24 degrees celsius which is the same as 55 to 75 degrees fahrenheit if it is too hot or too cold any of these extremes can be very dangerous for your worms in fact it can be fatal and so if these conditions are not met the worms will try to escape so if here is what you do if the temperature is too cold if it is too cold you can always bring them indoors where it is warmer or if the temperature is not frigidly cold but it is too cold for the worms then you can always use a thick blanket to cover them remember if you are feeling cold outside then your worms are feeling cold as well so that is how you control the temperature if the worms are cold if they are too hot then you can increase the airflow in your bin you can also put your worm bin in a shaded area and the third way is you can just water the bin wet them down and that will help to keep them cool now let's look at the second reason why worms are trying to leave your bin and this is your moisture content the ideal moisture content for your worms is 40 to 60 percent moisture content you can always use a ph tester to monitor the content the moisture content in your bin said you can use a moisture tester but not all of us have a moisture tester to test our bin so how do you know what the moisture content level is you're going to get a handful of the content of your bin you're going to squeeze it it should feel like feel wet like a wrong old sponge meaning that when you squeeze the content you don't want to see water flowing out of it you want to see maybe just a few drops if you see that then you know that yes you're within the right level of moisture if it is too dry then you can always just add a little more water to the bin now let's look at the third reason why the worms try to escape from your bin and that is the food supply if you don't give your worms enough food they're going to leave the bin in search of more food so always give them sufficient food to eat if however you are overfeeding them then all that food they cannot consume fast enough it is going to result in your worm bin becoming anaerobic and that is going to lead to your worm bin becoming sour and your worms are going to try to leave because if it is anaerobic your worms won't be able to breathe properly so 
you want to make sure that your bin is not anaerobic because it will make your bin acidic. You know how it is said that worms eat half to their full body weight in a day? That is very true, but sometimes worms eat less than that in a day. So you want to observe your worms, know how much they eat within a day or within a week, and you want to feed them accordingly. So don't overfeed them and don't underfeed them. Now let's look at the fourth way or the fourth reason why worms try to leave your worm bin. And that is the bin is too acidic. Your worm bin needs to be between 6 and 7 pH for the worms to be comfortable. If it is over 7 or under 6, then this can be very harmful to your worms. The higher the number, the more alkaline it is. The lower the pH, the more acidic it is. So you can always use a pH tester to monitor the pH level in your bin. And of course, once your worm bin starts to smell sour, there is no doubt about it, your bin is becoming acidic. Now, let's look at the fifth way that, the fifth reason why your worms try to leave your worm bin. So, that fifth way is a overcrowded bin. If there are too many worms in your bin, the worms are, the mature ones are going to leave the bin with the hope that the younger ones will survive. So, the rule of the thumb is for every pound of worm that you have, you must have one square foot of surface area for your worms. Some people push it to the limit and have between one and two pounds of worm per surface area. But the rule of the thumb is one pound of worm to one square foot of surface area. If your bin become overcrowded with worms, you can always split your bin. There's no problem in splitting your bin. If you have find that you have more worms than you want or more worms than you have space for, you either create another bin or you can always sell the excess or give it to your neighbors who do gardening or people who would like to have a worm bin of their own. Now, so we've covered the five reasons why worms try to escape your bin. And we said temperature, your moisture content, your food supply, the level, of, the level of acidity in your worm bin, and an overcrowded bin. These are the five main reasons why your worms will try to escape from your worm bin. Now here are some additional tips. Excuse me. It is said that when you have worms trying to escape your bin, if you shine a light on the bin, then the worms will always move down to the bottom to get away from the light because the light dries out their skin. That is very true. But, if so it is said that if you shine the light on the worm bin, then the worms will go down and that is so true. But if you don't fix the source of the problem, it does matter your worms will continue to try to escape from your worm bin so you have to fix the temperature you have to fix the moisture content you have to fix this food supply you have to fix the acidity in the bin whatever the problem is you must get rid of the source of the problem because a band-aid over the problem will not work okay now there is a sixth reason why worms try to escape your worm bin and that is when you are taking worm from an environment that they are used to and you're putting them in a new environment it can take up to three weeks for those worms to get accustomed to their new environment now during that period of time you will find that your worms may try to escape from the bin in this instance if you do use the light the worms will go down and they will eventually settle in
the previous discussions, we mentioned that you can get a pH tester to test the level of acidity in your worm bin. I mentioned that you can get a temperature tester and you can get a moisture te tester. These you can get individually, but you can also get one device that has three features. They call it three in one. So this one device will test your temperature, it will test the pH in your soil or your worm bin, and it will test your moisture content. I was able to get one of these three in ones for a little under $8 at a local hardware store. And that is before taxes. So depending on where you are, you can source them at a really reasonable price. So I'd recommend that you get one of these and you can use it to monitor what's going on in your worm bin. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on your notification button. I hope you have yourself a wonderful day.